It's time to get started for our December cuties. Hi everyone, Kristen Som here and today we are going to start on our December cuties. Like I said, we're starting a little late, so I'm going to do my best to rush through it, but we'll see. So I'm going to do something very different today. I'm actually going to start with the triangle blocks. Normally we do the centers and then the inner borders and then the triangles and then the outer borders backing. That's the process we've been doing all year. But since we're starting late and I know people generally need help with the triangle block the most, um, I'm going to go ahead and start with that. So really, you could watch any of the past tutorials for the uh, center blocks, the inner borders, the outer borders. So if you want to move ahead, I'm going to go ahead and start on the triangle blocks today. So the triangle blocks are always the biggest part of our project. We need four blocks and they're huge, so you can only do one in one hooping. So four different hoopings to get all four blocks. So let's go ahead and talk about what we need for today. So grab your packet. If you made packets, it will be the biggest one with all of the parts to it. Um, and it is on page 41 of our PDF, page 41 for the um, Town Square Christmas Tree Lighting. All right, that's what it's called. So don't forget, there are special trim instru instructions on the triangle blocks. I've been saying it all year and I'll show it in um, photos, but we always cut, whether you're doing the eight by 12 or the nine by 14, if you're doing the five by seven, I think it's done in three hoopings. There's a different file on the CD for that and a different PDF for that. But for the eight by 12 and the nine by 14 file, Either way, we're going to cut it all the way across to the end of the fabric. We are not going to stop where the stitching stops. That's the most important thing. Just cut all the way from the bottom part to the triangle part all the way to the end of the fabrics, and then you'll do fine. All right. And again, I'll show that in photos. So let's talk about what we need for today. So we're going to start with our main fabric. Lots of pieces here, they're falling over. So our main fabric is the white silky solid. There's no design to it. And this is a big piece of fabric. I'm gonna re-iron it because I've got a, a crease from having it in my packets. Um, but we're gonna start with this two pieces at 13 by 13, all right? Two pieces at 13 by 13. And then we will subcut it from diagonal corner to diagonal corner to get four triangle pieces, all right? This is really important to stabilize. Make sure that you stabilize this. I used um, the Kimberbell uh, fusible backing and I did mine a little bit in you can see so if these were 13 by 13 I cut my my stabilizer to 12 and a half by 12 and a half so that I have a quarter inch seam allowance um, and the reason for that is it makes it really easy to tell the front from the back all right so I've been doing that on these lighter pieces that are hard to tell the front from the back all right and, and the silky solid, it really doesn't matter in all honesty, but um, but it does matter when you put it down. And that's the thing is when you're putting it down to stitch on, you don't want the stabilizer up, you want the fabric up. And so that's why if you cut it in a little bit, then it's really easy to tell this is the back, this is the front, all right? So again, two pieces at 13 by 13, and then we will subcut them to get four triangle pieces. Okay, and then we have the Christmas tree. So the Christmas tree is this green flower fabric. I did stabilize mine. Um, that's optional. This is an applique piece. I find it easier, so I, I, tend, I tend to do that. So we want eight pieces of this. Is that right? Eight pieces. Interesting. I wonder why. I haven't read ahead to see what we're doing. I'm thinking... Well, we'll get there, okay? So eight pieces at two and a half by four. Two and a half by four, eight pieces. And again, it's the Christmas tree fabric. I'm really curious why we need eight of them. There's a little dot dot, but it says that no SVG file is included in this piece. Um, that's all I see the dot dot for. Anyway, I'll, I'll let you know when I figure out why we have eight of them for four Christmas trees. But for now, eight pieces, two and a half by four for the Christmas tree pieces. And then we have 
the prickly pear felt. All right, the prickly pear felt. And this is going to be also eight pieces at two and a half by four. Eight pieces at two and a half by four. And that's the, the prickly, prickly pear felt. It did come in our um, fabric kit from our sponsor, My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop. Make sure that you're ordering your fabric kits from our sponsor to support them um, doing our group projects together. So on that felt, you don't want to back it with anything. Leave it just as it is, all right? Eight pieces, two and a half by four. And then we have the graham cracker um, felt. So this one, cut it as carefully as you can. I actually didn't have enough. I was really surprised. I almost never have that happen. But I have three pieces that are uh, one and a half by two and a half and then one that's a little thinner. So it's going to be a little interesting and I may have to pull from my stash if it's too close but four pieces you want four pieces that are one and a half by two and a half of this felt and again don't back felt with anything all right four pieces on that and then the red applique glitter isn't this so pretty oh my gosh I love this so don't forget and I'll show it in pictures too but for the um the glitter vinyl we always want to take that plastic coating off very important and of course, I'm having trouble getting it right now, but I'll show it in photos when I get there. But there is a plastic coating on the top and you want to make sure to take that off before you put down the applique piece. All right. So for, first one is the ornament. And this one, we want four pieces that are four and a half by four and a half, four pieces that are four and a half by four and a half. And don't back final with anything. We will adhere it with our iron. I'll show that in photos, but four pieces at four and a half by four and a half. And that is for the ornament. And then we also have four more pieces of that glitter vinyl. It's the smaller ones. And these we want four pieces that are two by two. This is for the bow at the top of the tree. Four pieces at um, two by two. Okay, and again, take off that top plastic coating. All right, and then we have our Flexifoam. And our Flexifoam was in our fabric kit. That we want to have four pieces at four by five. Four pieces at four by five. And it came in our kit from our sponsor, My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop. All right, and then the last thing is batting. So our batting, I just want to point out again, I try to point this out often because I do get questions. It is a rectangle, all right? Our flexifoam, or not flexifoam, sorry, our batting is a, a large piece of rectangle batting and it's seven and a quarter times 13 and a half. So seven and a quarter times 13 and a half length, four pieces. And we will put this down over the placement stitch and then once it tacks it down and we trim it, then it becomes a triangle. You'll see all of that in photos. We'll go through it step by step like we always do. All right, that's for our batting. Four pieces, seven and a quarter by 13 and a half. And then we want our quilting. So our quilting today is going to be triangle mistletoe. It's in the cuties bundle of the... Um, the quilting that we got for the cuties, the entire bundle, it's in there. So triangle mistletoe is what we will use for our uh, quilting on these triangle blocks. All right, and then special trim instructions. I'll go over that when we get there. And let's see, it looks like the reason that we have two pieces of that, um, the tree fabric and the felt oh because we're going to do it in sections oh that'll be really pretty it'll make it layered that will be really pretty so it's going to be um the the green flower fabric and then the felt and then the green flower fabric and the felt that's why we have double of those that will be super pretty instead of just a a plain tree it's going to be um, layered in different fabrics so the fabric and the felt that will be really fun very pretty all right so that's all um, let's go ahead don't forget I said we're going to start on the triangles I will go back to the regular pattern after today but I want to try and get those triangles out for everybody that needs them now sooner all right so let's go ahead and get started stitching by the way I'm going to bring you over to the computer because I'm sure that we'll have to um, put that that tree in the specific spot like like we have on every one um, and I'm also going to show you how to do it on an 8x12 and a 9x14 because I'm going to get both of my machines running today to try and get ahead um, so I'm going to bring you over to the computer and show you an embroidery software how to turn the design in exactly where it needs to go all right so let's go ahead and get over to the computer 
And real quick, I want to mention that you absolutely can rotate that this the tree design and place it in the exact right spot using just your machine. If you don't have embroidery software, that's not a problem. I'm going to bring you over to the computer just to give you a visual so that you can see where it needs to turn in, where it needs to be placed and all of that. But you can do that on your machine if you prefer. I like using embroidery software because then it's on my big computer monitor and I can see it really easy and I find that easier personally, but some people prefer to use their machine and you absolutely can do that. Hey everyone, I'm at my computer now and I'm just going to quickly show you how to um, move that tree design into the correct spot and um, how to add in the quilting design if you choose. I just realized I didn't turn my machine on yet, but I'll do that in a minute. So I'm going to open up in Brilliance Essentials. That's the embroidery software that I prefer. And uh, mine comes up as a light pink background. I think the, the usual is yellow or white. I don't recall off the top of my head, but um, you can always change it to your preference in the preferences folder here. All right, so it says that I am on my five by seven hoop. You can see that right down here. I know that I want a larger hoop. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change to my nine by 14 for now. So I'm gonna go to this preferences folder, click on that and find my nine by 14 hoop, say okay. And then I'm going to click on this compass button here and click on H for hoop and it zooms into the hoop. And you can see down here at the bottom that it says I'm on my 9 by 14 hoop now. So I'm going to start by bringing in the quilting design. So I'm going to go to merge stitch file. You can do it this way or you can open up the folder and drag it over. Either way works fine. So um, let's see, I'm on Nativity Bench Fill. I'm going to close that up, open up the cuties table topper and here is my bundle of quilting and embroidery files, PEZ is what I use for my machine, and we're looking for the triangle blocks for December. Centers and triangles, December, right there. If I click on the folder, it starts to populate all the designs. All right, there's the, um, the five by seven of the triangles. I want the larger, there's the eight by 12. You can see the difference right here. See how it's just, it doesn't go quite as far to the end as this the 9 by 14 does but even the 9 by 14 doesn't go all the way either so it really doesn't matter at all I, I'm actually going to use both designs um, so, since I'm going to use both of my machines and I don't have two of the 9 by 14 hoops so I'm going to double click on the 9 by 14 design it goes to the middle there's that mistletoe that's really pretty all right and then I'm going to go to merge stitch file and I'm going to bring in the embroidery design which is that Christmas tree all right, so I'm going to close out the quilting and I'm going to go to the embroidery files for the cuties. Pez is what I use for my machine. And there's all the ones I've made in the past. Sorry about my phone dinging. Um, I'm going to look for the triangle for, um, there it is right there. So the town square Christmas tree it's called. So I'm going to double click on that and see, you can see it's upright and we're going to need it turned, rotated. So I'm going to double click on that. It goes to the center. I'm going to click on the design and I'm going to click on this rotate left button right here. All right. And then you can see I need to move it because it's too far down. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I'm going to move my design over, not the design, move my, where my viewing point is. And it's already on that center point. You can see this little tick mark here. I'm, I'm going to leave it there and I'm just going to use my arrow keys to move it up to that outer line. So the very farthest point you can see, this is the last point of the design, which is the placement and tack down of the main fabric. That's what we want it centered on. All right, I'm going to zoom out so I can see. You can see I'm right on that outer line down here and on here. So don't worry about this part. You can see that that's going to be... Um, over into the quilting. It's not going to matter because we're actually not going to stitch that, but even if we did, it's not going to matter. It's fine. All right, so I'm just going to zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm just, you can use, you can use this down here to move it, or you can use this compass button and you can drag this over to where you want to see. So you can see right there. So we are right on it. Hopefully you can see this is the placement and tack down of the batting right here, this orange line. And this one here is the placement and tack down of the main fabric. So I'm going to use that compass button and just show you this down here. 
See how we're right on that line? That is just perfect, all right? And all I did was I moved my arrow key to bring the tree up a little bit, and that was just super easy to do. So that one is done. I don't need to do a color sort or anything because we're not doing more than one in one hoop. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a file, save stitch file as, and I am going to bring it to my cuties. Let's see, embroidery files, Pez, and I'm going to name it. I'm on a VP3, like I need a Pez file. There we go. All right, and I'm gonna name it, um, let's see, nine by 14 um, tree triangle. All right, and hit save. And then this one, I'm gonna actually turn on my machine and send it to my machine. The other one, because I'm gonna do this also in an eight by 12, I'm gonna send that one to a USB because my dream machine doesn't do uh, wireless. Hold on one sec. All right, so now my machine is on, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a utility send to Solaris XP1. If you have a Wi-Fi ready machine, you can just send it right from in Brilliance Essentials. It's so easy to do. And it will say file sent to machine. All right, and then the other one, I'm going to use my USB stick, and I've shown this lots of times for those that need help doing this, but it's super easy also. I'm just going to put this in my computer. Hold on. All right, and you heard it ding saying that there's a, a new device put into the computer, and it pops up as my USB drive, and I'm going to close this one because that says last month's. And I'm going to say, yes, I want to delete that because I have it saved on my computer as well. So on this one, I am going to actually um, create the same thing in an 8x12. So I'm going to go File, New Page, and I'm going to open up the quilting design for the 8x12. So Merge Stitch File, go back to the quilting bundle, and Centers and Triangles for December. And this one, I want the 8x12 right there. Double click on that. And I'm going to just do this really easy and quick. I'm going to go to that first one because this tree is already all centered. So I'm going to say Control C to copy it. Go back to the new um, page that I have and say Control V like victory to paste. And that didn't do it. There it is. All right, Control V like victory. All right, so then it's already all centered and that one is already all done. So I'm going to do a save as as well. Save stitch file as. And then this one, I'm going to name an 8x12 um, tree triangle. I didn't do my X. There we go. 8x12 tree triangle. Save. All right. And you can just save it right to the USB stick. I like to save it on my computer as well. And then I'll show you how I transfer it. So I've got an F. I've got the F USB drive. I'm going to say File N. I'm going to say Control N to create another pocket or another folder and I'm going to go to where I have that saved. It's on my desktop and cuties, table toppers, um, let's see, embroidery files, Pez, and I'm looking for the 8x12 tree triangle. I'm going to say control C to copy that and I'm going to open it over here into this folder and say control V to uh, paste it there. And now it's on that USB drive and I'm going to, once I, my head is out of the way, I will um, click to remove hardware from my computer. So that was super easy. You saw I just saved it to my computer and then I did a copy from the folder that I have it in and brought it into the folder um, for my USB drive. So now we're ready and I'm gonna use both my machines to get stitching today.
on my shirt today. This one, I think it was from Hoop Mama. It says, have yourself a country little Christmas. And it's got a tree. That's why I wore it today. And I even added bling onto it so that it lights up um, or it bling rhinestones right so it looks really cute i think that is a really fun design i believe it's from hoop mama i will add a link if i'm correct in that either way underneath this video i will add information and the shirt itself is from amazon it's that one that i really like it's made from anvil it fits well it's got a hood on it it's not the stretchy one it's the other one that i have a bunch of um, and i will add a link um, under this video of where you can get the design and the shirt and for the shirt itself as long as i find it i will add a link here and add that for you so that you can purchase um, from amazon to get a shirt to embroider for the holidays all right so let's go ahead and get stitching and how are you doing with your goal? So I am going to just count on you to tell me about your goal during this process. If I happen to fit in a workout, I will add it. But for now, I'm just putting my head down and working, working, working to try and get caught up to get these cuties out to you as soon as possible. Um, so in the meantime, tell me about your workout. I want to hear about it, whether it's a workout or cleaning out cupboards or whatever it is. Um, and don't forget to like this um, this video. If you are enjoying this content, please hit that like button. Somehow it really helps the algorithms in YouTube um, to keep me running because I have a minimum I have to meet. So um, please hit that like button. Hit Put in a comment if you prefer, but even just hitting that like button helps out a lot. Thank you.